call Halalium, Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh Shai, Bashem, Baka Kadash, double honors to the elders and apostles of the great millstone, who taught us the truth, shalom, and salutations to the hopeful elect, the Akim out there spreading the gospel throughout the four corners of the earth for sincerity and truth and presenting their bodies as a living sacrifice. Shalom. All right. To the very few sisters that do listen up as well. This is the brother Yarmire from the Great Millstone Chicago camp. Basically coming to you with another lesson. And this lesson is concerning um in fact guys and militant guys and, and things of that factor, you know, and the, and the way our people look at that, you know, our people think, you know, here it is the elders and apostles and the brothers, you know, have been putting in work for, for many years, you know, and speaking and prophesying rather on, on, on the things that you see occurring today but see the minds of our people are so simple you know they think that that's deep you know a group of niggas wearing black you know marching down the street with guns well we know you know and a lot of them on the comment board saying this right and they believe in the lord they don't believe in the lord yahweh shy you know the lord taught us to be wise as a serpent and harmless as a dove and that's why we know through the spirit and power yahweh bashim yahweh shy a lot of these guys are set up by esau to provoke the people all right because if we stood out there with that bullshit, we wouldn't go untouched by these um, devils. You know, we'd be locked up and so forth and so on. But see, they do it to get a rise out of the people, whether they want to uh, put you in a concentration camp, or they just want to implement martial law quicker because of, look at this, these radicals, so to speak. You know, Esau got the big words for them, these radicals. You know, the scriptures never taught us to do that. And then they bring up examples like King David, who was the king of Israel, who the Lord... Who, who waged war in the name of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, you know, defending the kingdom, taking down kingdoms, and being set up as a king. We in captivity, man. Yahweh Shai gave us different instructions. You know, you had Samson, you had Barak, you had Gideon, you know, the Maccabees, you had many mighty men that waged war. But every uh, those men were commissioned by Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai to set us up. You know, the scripture says that the weapons of our warfare are not carnal, but mighty in power. You know, we are taking down these strongholds, man, revealing to us. How are we going to go to war? Hey, look, if you niggas killed all these people today, you still wouldn't know how to establish a kingdom. You would do exactly, and we mentioned this in the sit-down yesterday, you would do exactly what his ass is doing, man, being counterproductive to the earth. You niggas don't even know how to do anything, you know, and, 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 and you ain't finna override the power. That Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah has gave Esau, which is the sword. This man runs your water, your power grids, your money, your food. Man, he can gate you niggas up and starve you out, man, and you'll be killing each other in a matter of minutes. You don't want to go to war with Esau, man. That in fact militant bullshit. And if Esau was scared of niggas with guns, he wouldn't put them in our communities, man. He know what we do with guns. He loves seeing niggas with guns. This is different. Because this is what gets us close to the most high. See, Esau is gonna be took down. Through divine intervention, man. That's why he said in the book of Kings, uh, they that be with us are more than they be with them. And you've seen the host of heaven, man. Divine intervention is what put us in Esau's hands. Because, of course, we're mightier than him. But it wasn't our time, you know. So, uh, I'm going to just get a couple of scriptures, man. This is 2 Corinthians 2 and 11. It says, lest Satan should take advantage of us, for we are not ignorant of his devices. And that's one of the advices of Esau, setting up these, 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 these uh, snakes, these Asian provocateurs. You know, these guys to uh, move the hand of Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shah, so to speak. You know, these guys coming up the wrong way. And they're getting around out of our people. When Yahweh Shah was mighty in battle, man. King David was mighty in battle. The scriptures say Saul has slain his thousands, slain tens of thousands of men, man. And he said the Lord was his shield and buckle because he knew about divine intervention, man. Samson, a mighty man, slain a thousand men with the jawbone of an ass, man. He was set up to do these things, man. But that was through divine intervention, not from no niggas going to fucking old Cabello's or wherever the fuck you go, you know, getting some straps, man. The Lord ain't with that, man. You niggas better wake the fuck up, man, for these guys get you mauled. You know, and you in your simplicity, because a lot of our people think they don't they don't understand about how, how Esau does these things, man, how he orchestrates these things. But we do because we have the knowledge and we follow the scriptures, man. You know, this is uh, St. John 18 and uh, verse 36. It says, Yahweh Shai said, my kingdom is not of this world. If my kingdom were of this world, then would my servants fight that I should not be delivered to the Jews. 
but now my kingdom is not from hence. So the Yahweh Shai even said, this, this is not our world, you know? This is not our part. We in captivity, man. This is Esau's. And Yahweh Shai was mighty in power. And it's the same Matthew 26 and 52. It said, Then Yahweh Shai said unto him, Put up against thy sword into his place, for they that take the sword shall perish with the sword. Thinkest thou that I came not to, thinkest thou not that I cannot pray to my father, and he shall presently give me more than twelve legions of angels? But how then shall the scriptures be fulfilled, that thus it must be? All right. So he said he can pray to the father and have, have, have legions of angels. Come all these guys, man. But it wasn't the time for that, man. He said he who lives by the sword should perish by the sword. Yes, and, and they had swords. You know, but that, that wasn't what they depended on. All right? We we always, you know, like we, we quoted all the time, King David, man. He said the Lord was his rock, his shield, and his buckler, man. He couldn't be moved knowing that, man. But if he would have put his hand, you know, like like that brother Benji had brought out yesterday, you know, he even faint. Like he he, he pretended um, um, retarded when he we basically foamed at the mouth, you know, to get delivered from a king, man. He wasn't scared. He was living out the scriptures, man. Being wise as a serpent and harmless as a dove. This is a man that has, has slain men by the tens of thousands, man. But the scriptures say he behaved wisely in all his ways, man. And that made the uh, other people respect. All right, respect and fear, man. You you nigger, you Negroes are, are, are out of are completely out of line, man. With all this BS, man. With all this dramatic um, bullshit that y'all on, man. And uh. You gonna cause a lot of Israelites to get wiped out, man. And then y'all ain't even doing shit anyway, man. Esau still running about, you know. You you just riling up that 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 uh, racial tension that's gonna literally uh, blackball us, man. And uh, I really ain't got too much on this, man. You know, I I just want to make that light point about these these in fact guys. Uh, um, they're a joke. All right, they're a joke indeed. And you know what? I'm going to just leave it at that, man. Hey, how about Shemmy Howard Shai put us here to call on his name, man, and be delivered, man. You know? Blessed is he who dwelleth in the shadow of the Almighty, man. You know? Psalms, the, hey, Psalms, the 91st chapter, man. Hey, call aloud, Yemi, how about Shemmy Howard Shai, Bashim, Makaka, Dash, double honors to the elders and the apostles and to the hope for the elect. Hey, Shalom.